understanding your priesthood uh, and kingship. Understanding your priesthood uh, and kingship. It is not just enough for me to say I am a believer. Ni vizuri kujua ni nini nimefanyika kupitia kazi ambayo Yesu alifanya pale msarabani. Bibi nasema kwamba ya kwamba tumefanyika makuhani na pia tumefanyika wafalme. For us to be able to have territorial dominion, it is determined by the strength of the priesthood in that territory. Kumaanisha kwamba makuhani walio katika eneo wakiwa wanyonge na wakiwa wadhaifu hawataweza kumiliki mawazo ya Mungu kuanzia pale mwanzo even in the old testament because the bible says we are priests we are kings na kulingana na vile ambavyo tunaona uh, in the in the old testament uh, god's people had a priesthood those who were the levites walikuwa mechaguliwa sehemu moja tu ya wana wa Israeli but in the new testament we are a priesthood so they had a priesthood but we are so wale walikuwa tu sehemu kidogo ni makuani lakini wazo la kuwa na waaminio wakiwa wote ni makuhani hilo wazo hata katika agano la kale lile wazo bado lilikuwa katika moyo wa Mungu ya kwamba wakati mmoja atakuwa na ufalme wa makuhani praise the name of the living god haleluya ya kwamba hakutakuwa tu na makuhani wachache lakini sisi wote tutakuwa ni ufalme in the book of Exodus chapter 19 and verse 3 then Moses went up to God and the Lord called him from the mountain and said this is what you are to say to the house of Jacob and what you are to tell the people of Israel you yourself have seen what I did to the to Egypt and how I carried you on eagles wings and brought you to myself now if you obey me fully and keep my covenant then out of all the nations you will be my treasured possession although the whole earth is mine and then look at verse 6 the bible says you be for me a kingdom of priests and a these are the words you are to speak to the Israelites. Mungu akawaambia kwamba you be for me a kingdom of priests and a holy nation. Praise the name of the living God. So wazo hili la Mungu kuwa na ufalme wa makuhani ama kuwa na waaminio wote wakiwa ni makuhani. Mungu alikuwa nalo katika moyo wake hata kama alianza kuchagua kabila moja nyumba ya Aaron wawe makuhani na tunaona hilo wazo katika first peter chapter 2 and verse 4 as you come to him the living stone rejected by men but chosen by god and precious to him you also like living stones are being built into a spiritual house to be a holy priesthood Offering spiritual sacrifices acceptable to God through who? So number one, hapo tunaona ya kwamba the work of the priest is to offer sacrifices that are acceptable to God. But if you jump to verse 9, but you are a chosen people, a loyal priesthood, a holy nation, a people belonging to God that you may declare the places of him who called you out of darkness into his wonderful light. Peter hapa anatufundisha ya kwamba whatever was said in the book of Exodus is now being confirmed 
in the New Testament that we are a royal priesthood and a holy nation. That which God had spoken to the children of Israel that they are going to become. Peter is confirming that that is what we are now in the New Testament. Praise the name of the living God. Hallelujah. Why is this so important? Praise the name of the living God. It is very important because when you read in the book of Revelation chapter 1 and verse 6, he hath made us a kingdom of priests for God is Father. All glory and power to God forever and ever. Amen. Yani, wazo hila mungu la kutufanya makuhani na wafalme is so that we may have dominion here on earth. You cannot exercise your dominion until you understand your priesthood and your kingship. Praise the name of the living God. I say again that you cannot have dominion until you understand your priesthood and your, your kingship. Hawezi kumiriki. Paka uwerewe huduma ya ukuhani na huduma ya kifalme na wakati utapata ufunuo na kuelewa unajua bibi nasema kwamba siri za Mungu ziko na wale wa mchao wapendwa Mungu akupatia kuelewa ukuhani wako ah, that office ya priesthood na Mungu akusaidie kuelewa your kingship nataka nikwambie that is how people rise in this kingdom hivyo ndivyo watu huwa wanainuka katika ufalme nilikuwa naangalia kitabu cha Judges chapter 17 and verse 7. A young Levite from Bethlehem in Judah who had been living within the crown of Judah. Look at that he was a Levite. Left that town in search of some other place to stay. On his way he came to Micah's house in the hill country of Ephraim. Then the Bible says Micah asked him, Where are you from? I am a Levite from Bethlehem in Judah. He said, And I am looking for a place to stay. Then the Bible says, Then Micah said to him, Live with me and be my father and priest. And I will give you ten shekels of silver a year, your clothes and your food. Praise the name of the living God. So the Levite agreed to live with him, and the young man was to him like one of his sons. Praise the name of the living God. Then Micah installed the Levite, and the young man became his priest and lived in, in his house. And the Bible says, uh, And Micah said, Now I know that the Lord will be good to me, since this Levite has become my priest. Ni kwa nini huyu mtu Mika? Anadhamini huyu Levite ya kwamba amepata kuhani. Kwa ni kuhani ya likuwa na udhamana gani? You know, usipo elewa udhamana wa kuhani, hautaweza kudhamini. Lakini huyu Mika wakati alipata umtu, alimuofa pesa mingi. Na akamwambia hata nguo, hata chakura, hata nyumba, nitakupatia. Bwana asifiwe sana. Na ukiruka hiyo uh, Judges chapter 18 verse 3, tena watu wengine wakaja. When they were near Mika's house, they recognized the voice of young Levite. So they turned in there and asked him, who brought you here? What are you doing in this place? Why are you here? He told them what Micah had done for him and said, he has hired me and I am, a, I, and I am his priest. Then they said to him, please inquire of God to learn whether our journey will be successful. The priest answered them, go in peace. Your journey has the Lord's approval. Then the Bible says, So the five men left and came to Laish, where they saw that the people were living in safety, like the Sidonian, and suspecting and secure. And since their land lacked nothing, they were prosperous. Also, they lived a long way from the Sidonians and had no relationship with anyone else. The Bible continued to say, When they returned to Zora and Eshtaol, their brothers asked them, How did you find things? They answered, Come, let's attack them. We have seen that the land is very good. And until you're going to do something, don't hesitate to go there and take it over. When they went there, you find an unexpected people, a spacious land that God has put into your hands, a land that lacks nothing, whatever. The 600 men uh, from the clan of the Danites, armed for battle, set out for Zora and Eshtaol. 
And then on their way, uh, they set up camp near Kiridia Jerim in Judah. This is why the place, uh, place west of Kiridia Jerim is called Mahane Dan to this day. And the Bible says, from there they went to the hill country of Ephraim and came to Micah's house. They went back to Micah's house. Then the five men who had spied out the land of Laish said to their brothers, Do you know that one of these houses has an effort? Other household gods, a carved image, and a cast idol. Now you know what to do. So they turned in there and went to the house of the young Levite at Micah's place to greet him and greeted him. The 600 Danites armed for battle stood at the entrance to the gate. Then the five men who had spied out the land went inside and took the carved image, the effort, and the other household gods, uh, gods and cast and cast idol, while the priest and the 600 armed men stood at the entrance to the gate. When these men went into Micah's house and took the carved image and the effort and other household gods and the cast idol, the priest said to them, what are you doing? They answered to him, be quiet. Don't say a word. Come with us and be our father and priest. Isn't it better that you serve a tribe and a clan in Israel as a priest rather than just one man's household? Kwa nini hawa watu ni wengi kama jeshi? Lakini wanaenda kuwinda. You know, in, um, in the corporate world, tunasemanga head hunting. Yani unaona talent pale kwa media station ile, ama kwa ile kampuni ile, na unasema huyu mtu tutampata kwa vyo vyo tevile, akuje afanye kazi na sisi. Sasa hawa, mika kwanza alipoona huyu kuhani, alimpatia ofa kubwa, na akasema sasa, Kwa sababu niko na kuhani Najua mambo yangu ya taenda vizuri Bwana asifuwe sana Nao hawa Danites ha? Wakiwa kama jeshi kubwa Wanasema munajua hii nyumba I, I said there was a mix up Because you see they, they have also mixed with other idols and household gods Praise the name of the living God But the key thing I want you to see They valued priesthood they knew the secret of priesthood. What is this secret that they knew about priesthood that we don't know today? Watch and say, Mehivi, when we talk about priesthood, priesthood is about access. Praise the name of the living God. And kingship is about power and authority. Praise the name of the living God. Priesthood is about access into the spirit liam. Na diposa, udhamana wa kuhani ni kwa sababu kuhani huwa kona access. That is why wanaenda wanamuambia kuhani. Ebu kwanza tuangalirie. Hii safari yetu. Because we ukona access ya kuona katika ulimwengu wa roho. Tuambia itakuwa ya kufanikiwa ama tutaenda tupate janga. Priesthood is about access. Praise the name of the living God. And you know, that is what we have been given through our high priest, Jesus Christ. When Jesus died, if you read the book of Hebrews chapter 4, from verse uh, 14, the Bible says, Therefore, since we have a great high priest, even Jesus. You know, when you operate as a priest and as a king, you are operating as Jesus Praise the name of the living God. Because Jesus is our high priest. Therefore, since we have a great high priest who have gone through the heavens, Jesus, the son of God, let us hold firmly to the faith that we profess. Then the Bible says, uh, for we do not have a high priest who is unable to sympathize with our weaknesses, but we have one who has been tempted in every way, just as we are, yet was without sin. Then the Bible continues to say, let us then approach the throne of grace with confidence so that we may receive mercy and find grace to help us in our time of need. So priesthood is about access. So as a priest, kitu cha kwanza ambacho unafaa kudhamini sana ni ya kwamba I have access to the throne room. Mark chapter 15 and verse 38 the Bible tells us uh, the curtain 
of the temple was torn into two from top to bottom. The reason this curtain of the temple was torn into two from top to bottom is for us to have access into the throne room. Praise the name of the living God. Hallelujah. Can somebody declare, I have access into the throne room of God? Amen. Having access into the throne room of God is one of the things even the prophet of the old, even when they prophesied about this church, they were wondering, how will this happen? Kama wakati wao ni kuhani mkuu ambaya angeingia pale, mara moja kwa mwaka, na anafungwa na nyororo katika migu yake. Na sasa inasemekana ya kwamba, Hapa ni mahali ya kwamba watu wote watakao muamini huyu Yesu watakuwa na uwezo wa kuingia. That is why walikuwa wanatamani kuwa katika siku zetu. Waone siku ambayo itakayofika ya kwamba kila mtu ambaye anaitanishwa na huyu Mungu ako na uwezo wa kuingia na wa access the throne room. Praise the name of the living God. I want to tell you this is a great blessing that we have access into the throne room. Praise the name of the living God. The Bible says in Hebrews chapter 10 and verse 19, Therefore, brothers, since we have confidence to enter the most holy place by the blood of Jesus, that we have confidence uh, to enter the most holy place by the blood of Jesus, Verse 20, the Bible says, By a new and a living way, open for us through the curtain. That is his body. Praise the name of the living God. Ni mwiri wake, alipo utoa pale msarabani, ulitufungulia mlango, wakweza kuingia na kuaccess the throne room. Praise the name of the living God. So how is this applied into my life as a believer? It is a pride through your prayer life. The primary and the most basic way of you exercising your priesthood is through your prayer life. Because it is through your prayer life huh, that you are able now to go before God. You are able to access the throne room. You know, prayer is not just a religious ritual. Praise the name of the living God. Prayer is God's way of you to be able to have dominion here on earth as a priest first and then as a king. Praise the name of the living God. So, ukiweza access the throne room through your prayer. Huh? There are so many things that you can be able to change because when you go before God, you can be able to stand in the God. You can be able to plead for God, with God for forgiveness. You can be able to ask God for mercy. There are things you can be able to, uh, to reverse in your life, reverse in your family, reverse in your city, reverse in your nation. That is why even in the book of Isaiah, chapter 59 and verse 16, the Bible says, He saw that there was no man and wondered that there was no intercessor. Therefore, his own and brought salvation for him and his own righteousness uh, and his own righteousness it is sustained him yani god wondered akasema kumekosekanaje muombezi because that is your primary role as a as a priest to intercede that you can be able to access uh, the throne room no matter what is happening in your family no matter what is happening in the city no matter what is happening in the nation that as a priest you can offer intercessions on behalf of your family on behalf of the city on behalf of the nation and you can be able to bring a turnaround of the events that are happening and when you have access uh, you can be able now to offer sacrifices that are acceptable to God through Jesus Christ. And that is how we exercise our dominion. Because once as a priest, you access the throne room. You know, in the spirit realm, 
The Bible says, God has given you everything that you need for life and for godliness. And it is through your prayers that you are able to bring that which is in the spirit realm to manifest in the physical. Because whatever you can imagine, if you can imagine people being healed, if you can imagine your family being delivered, if you can imagine God using your life, it is there in the spirit realm. But it is through the power of prayer that you bring that which is in the spirit realm and you bring that possibility to manifest in the physical. Praise the name of the living God. There are so many possibilities in the spirit realm. And we can be able to bring those possibilities to manifest in the physical. And not only possibilities, there are so many calamities in the spirit realm. That is why when people see dreams, they see visions. Some people will see even the calamities. They will see the evil plans. That is why Jesus told people, the enemy want to sift you as wheat. It is there in the spirit realm. But I have counseled. The Bible says we have been given the power to bind and to rule. That is the power to allow or disallow. When I access the throne room, there are things I allow. There are things I disallow. There are things I say yes. There are other things I say, no, this will not happen in the mighty name of Jesus. When God is revealing to you the calamities, the disasters that are in the spirit realm, he is telling you, exercise your priesthood and disallow them and say, no, there will be no premature death. Praise the name of the living God. No, my business uh, will not be destroyed. Uh, my children uh, will not be taken to captivity. Praise the name of the living God. Uh, he will exercise uh, your priesthood uh, ministry, your priesthood office. Uh, you transact uh, in your priesthood office uh, to allow or disallow. Praise the name of the living God. Hallelujah. Kwa sababu kuna mambo mengi katika ulimwengu wa roho mabaya na mazuri anything that you can imagine good it is there the bible says god has given you everything you need for life and for godliness and anything bad you can imagine that can happen it does not just happen it is already there in the spirit realm praise the name of the living god but through your priesthood ministry unaweza kusema mungu Nina kuomba mabaya yale yote yamepangwa kinyume na maisha yangu kinyume na jamii yangu kinyume na hili taifa kinyume na huu muji nimeyakataa katika jina la Yesu that is why god wondered that there was no intercessor that is why in Ezekiel chapter 22 verse 30 he said i was seeking for a man who can stand in the gap that is why in Deuteronomy chapter 30 and verse 30 and verse 19 the Bible says, uh, I call heaven and earth as witness today against you, and I have set before you life and death, blessing and cursing. Therefore, choose life that both of you and your descendants may live. You know, don't never assume. Ya kwamba mungu anajua ni nini unacho itaji. Kwa sababu mungu amekupatia uhuru wa kuchagua. Na nikatika uhuru wa kuchagua, unaenda bereza mungu, na unamuambia mungu, mungu nimechagua kutimiza mapenzi yako. Mungu nimekubali kama mapenzi yako yalivyo juu binguni yafanyike hapa duniani. Wewe ndiyo utakaye chagua. Wewe ndiyo utakaye kubalia. Mungu amekupatia. Usi, you know sometimes we blame God uh, ya kwamba watu wanateseka, watu wako na shida na Mungu awasaidi. Mungu amewapatia uwezo wa kuchagua, wakinyamaza ni kiburi chao. Because it takes humility to pray. Maombi ni njia ya kunyenyekea, ya kumuambia mungu, ni mekuja kwa sababu na itaji msaada wako. Ukinyamaza, unamuambia mungu na jitoshereza hapa duniani. Praise the name of the living God. But when you use your priesthood ministry, unaweza kuintasida, unaweza kuuliza mungu, mambo yale ambayo, unaona unayaitaji katika maisha haya na Mungu atasikia kilio chako it is through priesthood ambapo watu huwa anatafuta nguvu na hizo nguvu ukizipata sasa kwa ukuhani that is why they offer that as a way of service ha? to service their priesthood to service their altar ha? 
ili wewe unapoingia pale unafikiria huu ni mtu mkubwa sana kwa nini ananihudumia bwana apewe sifa lakini hiyo ndiyo siri yake ya kusavis madhabahu ambayo ameyainua na wewe mwenyewe haujui ukuhani wako vile unavyofanya kazi na unafikiria kwamba utaweza kuwa na hali ya kumiliki hapa duniani na it is your priesthood that empowers your kingship praise the name of the living god the bible says we are priests and we are it is your priesthood that empowers you if your priesthood is weak your kingship your kingship now is your power to legislate you know i see the church sometimes we make a lot of noise uh, saying you, you shall declare a thing uh, and it shall come to pass let me tell you you can make declarations a thousand times but if your priesthood is not giving the backing to your declarations your declarations will be null and void zitakuwa zinaishia tu hapa kwa siri soma second kings chapter 3 from verse 26 and when the king of moab when the king of moab saw that the battle had gone against him he took with him 700 swordsmen to break through the king of edom but they failed then he took his firstborn son who was to succeed him as king and offered him as a sacrifice on the set of war the fury against israel was great they withdrew and returned to their own land praise the name of the living god this is the king of moab when he tried his kingship to overcome and to fight and his kingship was not powerful to overcome he went back to his priesthood akaenda kwa priesthood yake na priesthood yake akachukua his firstborn son who was supposed to inherit the throne akam sacrifice baada ya kusavis his priesthood akaenda kwa his kingship na bibi nasema ya kwamba wana wa israeli wakashindwa because it is your priesthood that empowers your kingship it is your priesthood that gives you the authority praise the name of the living god that gives you now the ability to rule the ability to legislate the ability to deal with the powers that are in the spirit realm resisting your progress resisting your dominion but you begin in your priesthood praise the name of the living god so when your priesthood is weak as a believer that is your intercessions that is the sac- the prayers the fasting the kind of sacrifice because the bible says we have seen in the book of um, uh second peter chapter uh 2 and verse 4 you also like living stone are being built into a spiritual house to be a holy priesthood offering spiritual sacrifices acceptable to god through jesus christ so your priesthood is about the kind of sacrifices that you offer and you are pleased you now determines your kingship the way you are able now to rule and execute judgment praise the name of the living god against uh, the enemies uh, of the purposes uh, of god uh, in your life that is why unaweza kuwa unaishi tu maisha ya aibu adui anakufinyilia vile unataka kwa sababu you are priesthood haina nguvu ya kupatia authority your kingship uwezo wako na mamlaka yako ya kutawala ningetaka kumaliza kwa kusema hivi lazima tuwe na makuhani wanaoelewa ofisi ya ukuhani vile inavyofanya kazi praise the name of the living god wajue number one, i have access because of what the high priest jesus christ has done for me and that is the greatest thing that god has given to the new testament church having access uh, into the throne room and once you have success uh, access then you must live a life that is worthy of the calling that you have received that access comes with the responsibility hawezi kuwa unaingia kwa mungu na kutoka unaingia kwa mungu na kutoka na uangalie maisha yale unaishi That is why the Bible says we live a life that is worthy of the calling that calling of priesthood. Huh? 
Lazima ita demand uishi maisha frani. Praise the name of the living God. Hallelujah. And then the Bible says, the lips of a priest ought to have knowledge. When you become a priest, you are God's representative here on earth. Wewe ni mwakilishi wa mungu. That is why hawa watu, the Danites, wakati walipo pata huyu kuhani kwa mika, wali muambia tulizie kutoka kwa mungu. Kama hii safari yetu itafanikiwa. Kwa sababu gani? Ukiwa kuhani, ukona access. Na kwa hivyo wewe unafaa kuwa na knowledge ya mungu. That is why the Bible says in the book of Hosea, chapter 4 and verse 6, my people are destroyed from lack of knowledge. And the Bible says, because you have rejected knowledge, I also reject you as my priest. Because you have ignored the law of your God, I will also ignore your children. Ukitaka kufanyika kuhani, lazima uajibike. Lazima kuhani awe na knowledge ya mungu. Praise the name of the living God. So, lazima usome neno la mungu. Lazima utafute kuwa na ujumbe ambao ni accurate wakusaidia watu katika mahitaji yao ya kwamba ukiwaambia fanya hivi wakifanya wanaona matokeo wanasema ha na niliambiwa ni tubu na nivunje maagano yote na shetani na kwetu nyumbani na sasa kumebadilika hiyo knowledge lazima uwe nayo for the lips of a priest or to have knowledge sasa sisi wote tumefanyika makuani we need to carry the message of the gospel we need to carry the message of reconciliation. We need to carry the message of confession of sin and repentance. Lazima tuwe na ujumbe wa mungu. Because we are living in a hurting world. Na uli muengu ambao unaumia. Unauliza, nani yako na mashauli ya mungu? Dio tujue mungu anataka nini? Dio tukifanya vile mungu anataka tupone. Sasa wanakuja kwako. Harafu unawambia, mimi sijui, hata sielewi. Mungu anasema, I will reject you to be my priest. So next time, utakapo kwenda access kuonga gonga, unawambia, auja ni wakilisha vizuli, awezi ingia. So lazima uwe ni mtu ambaye, kuhani lazima uwe ni mtu ambaye, anatafuta kuelewa sheria ya buwana. Anatafuta kukaa katika neno ra mungu. Praise the name of the living God. Two cannot work together unless they agree. You must allow the word of God to dwell in you literally. Hili hata ukienda kuongea na mungu, unaongea na mungu as per his promises, as per his words, because the scriptures cannot be broken. May God help me to strengthen my priesthood in the mighty name of Jesus because it is through my priesthood that I will be able to exercise authority. The Bible says where the word of a king is, there is power. Where do you get this power? It is when you access the throne room. In the throne room, there is power. There is might. There is strength. When you access the throne room in your priesthood ministry, in your prayer, in your intercession, in your fasting, when you access the throne room, you receive power, you receive might, you receive strength. And then after you have received the power, that is why the disciples were told, Tale ye in Jerusalem until you receive power from on high. And when you receive power, go now as kings and exercise the authority.